Okay, and now I will show you this really basic design uh, to make some semi-flow zinc bromide battery. Uh, I will start with the negative electrode and the negative electrode is this. Actually, it's made from uh, acrylic plate, which is in basic the end plate of the cell, uh, some zinc plate, this zinc plate I glued with some silicon sealant to this acrylic plate and in the end I make two holes. These two holes is for the electrolyte flow. Into these two holes I attach also these pipes and again I seal it everything with some uh, silicon sealant. And here is the positive uh, electrode. Again, I use for the end plate, I use some acrylic piece. Uh, but into this acrylic piece, I glue uh, some graphite plate. This graphite plate is the positive current collector. Okay, and now on this positive current collector. I add this one. This is some neoprene rubber and this one will seal uh, the complete cell. So now in basic you can leave like this or you can fill this section with some graffiti carbon fiber to increase the surface area of the cell. Okay and on the top I will put some high density glass fiber separator. Uh, you also need to be sure that this separator will cover the entire section, that you will not get any holes. Okay, and on the top I add another neoprene rubber. And that's it. Now I put the negative electrode and that's it actually really simple semi flow uh, zinc bromide cell in the end you just need to screw everything together uh, connect one pipe to the pump and the another pipe will go into the electrolyte and that's it